All right. Um, just a few moments ago, Andrew spoke uh, to former senatorial candidate and Long Island Congressman Rick Lazio, a good friend to the program. As we get ready to hear from Mitt Romney, here's part of their conversation. And we're with Congressman Rick Lazio, a former congressman from Long Island, advisor to the Romney campaign. Uh, you were sitting next to the head of the VP search committee last night when Paul Ryan spoke. How do you think he did? I think he did wonderfully. I think this crowd uh, responded. He energized the crowd, spoke specifics, reminded people of the differences between the two major candidates and what's at stake for America. And that's exactly what a great vice presidential candidate does. He lays out the differences, offers the solutions, and gets the crowd excited to go out there and campaign and to drive the, the, uh, the ticket to victory. We, we know that the crowd responded well to it. Do you think he moved the needles for people at home? I think a lot of people, a lot of Americans, are know that the country is facing serious problems. They know that we've been kicking the can down the road. They know that these problems are not going to solve themselves. And I think they're going to respond, especially the sort of swing independent voters, to a ticket that says, we are not going to do that. Even if, it, if it's uncomfortable to hear the hard truths and to offer specific solutions, we're going to do that up front. We want that debate. We have to have that debate. America needs that debate. We need to solve these problems so that we can move forward and regain a level of prosperity and job creation that we once had. Obviously, when you're talking about the ticket, it's the top of the ticket that really gets people uh, energized and really determines what's going to happen here in November. What do you think Mitt Romney has to talk about tonight uh, to connect with voters? I think Mitt Romney has to talk about where he came from, why he's running for president, and why people should vote for him, uh, the kind of man he is, his record in business, his his, his uh, experiences uh, growing up uh, with, a, with a dad that that was a shoe salesman or, uh, and ended up being the head of a major car company uh, and also happened to be a cabinet secretary and a governor of Michigan. Uh, he's going to talk about the, the specific policies, the ideas that drove him to get into public service. He'll talk about his experience in Massachusetts and bringing America together. Republicans and Democrats need to come together to, to address these difficult issues. Most of all, Mitt Romney needs to continue to convince America that he is the man to solve the great economic uh, problems that face the country. Now, you know as well as anybody, politics is as much about style as it is substance. Mitt Romney has been trailing in likability numbers. That seems to be a bugaboo for him in his campaign. How important is it for him to connect with voters, to get them to like him, and do you think he's going to be able to do that tonight? Yeah, I am confident that Governor Romney is going to come out there and tell people who he is. Uh, he's a modest guy. He's not a braggart. Uh, he's not the kind of guy that makes up stories to make people like him. Uh, he wants to ask people, look at what I've done in my life. Nobody has ever regretted hiring Mitt Romney to do a job. Uh, everything he has done, whether it's uh, helping to start companies like Staples uh, or whether it's turning around the, the, the Winter Olympics in 2002 and and putting out a, a brush fire of scandal and fiscal mismanagement, uh, whether it was inheriting a multi-billion dollar deficit in Massachusetts and turning around and leaving a multi-billion dollar rainy day fund and lowering taxes and lowering unemployment to 4.6 percent. This is the record of Mitt Romney. He's going to be talking about that tonight and asking people, don't just watch what I say to get your vote. Look at what I've done. And finally, Congressman, in the primaries, Mitt Romney definitely moved to his right. He called himself at one point a severe conservative, uh, including on social issues through the, through the primaries. That doesn't always play so well, particularly in the New York uh, region, where people tend to have more moderate sensibilities or even liberal uh, social policies. Uh, is that a concern for the campaign? Is that a concern for uh, connecting with voters across the country? I think people have moved past the labels. Uh, I think they're going to look to where, where are your solutions, and he's got a 59-point plan of economic solutions. They're going to look to his record. They're going to look to what he is talking about, which is reasonably restraining spending, bringing it down to historical norms, uh, lowering the deficit, increasing domestic production of energy so we're not dependent on the Far East with specific examples, lowering taxes for all people by 20 percent across the board to unleash the entrepreneurial spirits of America and getting us get working again. But the, those social issues, while, while they, they are labels attached to them, they are issues and things like abortion or, or other social issues 
are you concerned at all about their impact? Well, I think look, Americans, there's, there's no broad consensus on some of these social issues. Uh, what there is consensus around is that America needs to do better in terms of educating its, its young people, that it needs to create more jobs, we need to grow our economy, that the growth rate that we've been seeing has led to more Americans being unemployed. The people that are employed are, are subemployed. They're, they're working part-time for a longer period of time. Wages are stagnant. With the Romney plan, you're going to start to see wages increase, more Americans hired, and the economy expand. That's what Americans are going to vote for this November. All right. Former Congressman Rick Lazio of Long Island and a, a surrogate for the Romney campaign. Congressman, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. All right, everybody. We'll be right back to wrap things up. Stay with us.